Hey guys, how's it going? Um, happy Sunday. Um, it's Sunday. I totally had not planned to come out here and shoot this, but I'm shooting this vlog for you because I got really upset this morning and instead of, I'm going to tell you what I got upset about and I'm telling you all of these dorky little things because I know so many of you have, you're either still having these thought processes that prohibit you from moving forward. Um, for me, you know, I'm just, I'm seeing what I have allowed to impede my progress in the past, okay? So I stopped in the middle of my, I was doing some cardio this morning. Today's supposed to be my off day, but I feel like doing some cardio. And I'm sharing all of this stuff with you. It doesn't make me proud. I'm not proud to be like, look at what a dork I am. I mean, clearly we all know I'm a dork, but hopefully if I share with you guys the stuff I'm figuring out about what stopped me in the past, what's really been um, really bad for me personally, and, and so much, Michael and I were just talking about this last night, um, so much of your success in what you want to achieve in your fitness journey is in your head. You have the capability to do a workout, whether it's walking now, jogging later, running later, you can do it, okay? We all have the, the physical ability to do things. A lot more physical ability than we give ourselves credit for. Um, you know, sometimes, I can't tell you how often I'll look at and oh, I could never do that. I stop saying that because I surprise myself um, when somebody tells me what to do and I'm like, I don't, I don't think I can do that. And, hello, why do you think you can't do that? And if you say that to yourself, if you look at something like a pull-up or whatever, you go, oh, I, there's no way I could ever do that. I said that about running, and I said that for years, and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Anyway, back up. I'm actually going to try to stay on point. I got up this morning and weighed myself, okay? And pretty soon, I'm going to be comfortable enough to just tell you guys what my freaking weight is, and then we'll track it, you know, because I think I'm going to start weighing myself every day. Long story short, I was excited to weigh myself today because as I took off all my clothes, and I'm not trying to be sexy here, people, um, and I was standing in front of my mirror, butt naked, I was looking at myself going, I'm so excited to get on the scale because I can see. I can see that I have lost weight. I can see, I mean, don't get me wrong, we still have the area in question that has a way to go, but I could see a difference, okay? And you guys know it, it, takes a, it takes a lot for me to see progress on myself. I mean, I'm not the first person who's walking around going, oh, absolutely, I bet you I've lost 10 pounds today. I am not that person. I'm the person that's like, I don't think I've lost anything. I still feel fat and gross. That's been me in the past. So take off all my clothes before I've eaten anything, hop on the scale, and it's totally, totally not what I thought, okay? And I started to get really upset. Really, the first things that were going through my head was, you know, what's wrong with me? I'm the only one that can't lose weight. Um, I don't understand. I look different. I feel different. I'm walking around. I feel lighter. I can see the changes, you know, in my upper body. I can see the changes in my lower body. Um, sorry. Um, and I just was like, what in the hell? Am I, am I cursed? Am I cursed to never see a change on the scale? And I know that the scale, okay, don't get me wrong. I know the scale is just one measurement. You should measure yourself. You should weigh yourself. However, when you are in a fat loss phase, it is very frustrating to not see your numbers go down, especially when I have a friend, Sherry, if you're watching this, you know, I have friends and they're like, I lost five pounds this week, I lost 10 pounds this week, and I see the pictures of their scales and I'm like, hmm, okay, I have problems, you know, and I am busting my tail. I am working so hard getting better every single day. Here's the deal, you guys. When you have something like that happen, recognize it for what it is. When you get upset, at, at that, and it's natural to get upset. It's natural to, when you're working so hard, and then you see either a measurement or you try on your jeans, and you know you think that your jeans are going to fit so much more loose, and they and they aren't. It's understandable to be frustrated. I s suggest that you do what I did, which is I kind of look at that like, you know, whoever it is. Maybe you use that dorky little thing that I said, which is you know if you hate it, put a name on it. 
Um, you know, if you know that you are pissed off and you are disappointed in what you see on the scale, then put a name on that. Make it be, you know, look at that as like, you know, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, or your boss, or your um, mother-in-law, or whoever it is that you can't stand, and pretend that they're there going, uh-huh, why don't you give up? Go ahead, give up. That's all you got. You get, you, you've got nothing. You're never going to succeed. And then you say, you know what? Watch me, because I am not giving up. Those are the types of situations, you guys. That situation this morning in my bathroom, that's what I used to, to just freaking say, forget it, forget it. And I would take off my workout clothes and I would get pissed and I would feel sorry for myself and I would come in here and I'd put my robe on, the robe that I've thrown away because I'm not wearing that robe anymore, and I would get pissed and I would give up. And then I would give up for a week and then I would feel fatter five days later and then I would start again. And so you, you just have this cycle and you wonder why you plateau. You stay at the exact same weight because instead of making progress, you keep going two steps forward, three steps back, one step forward, four steps back, two steps forward, five steps back. And you know, I mean, then you're just basically staying here. You've got to keep moving forward. And it's not easy. It's not easy to get on the scale and be like, whoa, this is so exciting. Oh, wait, wait whoa okay take that second and then think about that think about that the whole time that I started to get active as you can see I'm just a little bit sweaty and for those of you that have written and said you're sorry I haven't been doing sweaty vlogs bear with me um, doing a lot more working out at lifetime fitness so it would be a little funny for me to be taking my camcorder with me and shooting a vlog right afterwards and um, but anyway I will try to accommodate your requests um, anyway Use what pisses you off to propel you through a kick-ass workout and visualize it. Think about what you hate. Think about what pisses you off so much. Think about how you felt when you put on your, your pair of jeans and how you couldn't stand that you had muffin top. Think about how, guys, if you can't buckle your belt and you had to go up a size in jeans or whatever, or how you have Dunlap's disease where you're, you know, your gut Dunlapped over your belt. That's like a joke my mom tells all the time. Okay, think about what pisses you off and how much it pisses you off, and that's what you think about when you're working out because, let me tell you, when you're working out and when you're eating right and you're making the right choices, that's what you should be thinking about. You shouldn't be thinking about, oh, why am I, why can't I, you know, why can't I have eggs benedict instead of, you know, a, a protein shake? That's why. You can have your eggs benedict and you know what? You can have your size 44 jeans. Um, if you want to have your, you know, cappuccinos five, to, you know, five times a day, go ahead, have your cappuccinos five times a day. Don't work out, work out twice a week. And guess what? Why don't you just keep buying bigger size clothes every year? The fact of the matter is, people, I've learned it crystal clear the past year. Every single person I know that's active within Fitfluential, that's on my board of advisors, whatever, all of these, you know, um, fitness celebrities, if you will, the, the, the special trainers, everybody that I know that I have met, anybody that you meet that I've met that has a really great physique, that is in great shape, they are still working at it every single day. Don't fool yourself. Don't think that you get to this weight and that it's easy. Don't think that people like, look at Carla. I've talked to you guys about this before. Carla, Misfit Online, M-I-Z-F-I-T-O-N-L-I-N-E, Misfit Online. She is so buff. I mean, she's just ripped and just adorable. And she's lost, I think, if you forgive me, she about 15 years ago, she lost maybe 35 pounds, 40 pounds. Um, you wouldn't recognize her before pictures. She's kept it off, but you know what? She will text me every day and she's like, I gotta go do my cardio. I gotta go lift. And she doesn't like cardio. She hates cardio, but she does it. So she's my age, okay? She's still working on it. And guess what? When I'm around Carla, I don't see Carla eating candy bars. She doesn't drink. We go out for sushi. We have sashimi. Um, she's not sitting around going, yeah, I'm so glad I don't have to diet. You know? She enjoys, she's figured out what works for her, but don't, just understand, everyone's working at it. There's a certain thing where you, you've got to be able to look at, if you want this, this level of physique, like if you see uh, muscle, muscular development, if you see shape, not, let's not look at those, um, Oxygen Magazine, Muscle and Fitness Hers, Muscle and Fitness for Guys, Fitness Rx, whatever, the people that you see on the cover of those magazines are typically four weeks out from a figure or, or a bodybuilding competition, okay? So to achieve that look of shreddedness, I know this enough, I've been around enough people, you have to really be eating next to nothing and meaning like you're eating plain, plain chicken breast, you're having no diet soda, no artificial sweeteners, you're having hardly any carbs, hardly, 
think any water. You're probably taking diuretics. I mean, that's not a look you can really walk around with, so get over it. You have to like learn that that kind of a look for most people is not sustainable. However, you can get in really great shape um, and look really amazing, but you're not going to be walking around eating cheeseburgers. Don't fall for that Giselle crap or whoever where they're like, yeah, I just smoke a few cigarettes and have cheeseburgers and pizza all day and I look like this. Very, very few people have that problem, if you will. And most of the people that have that problem are skinny fat. And they're, you know, if that's the look you want, go nutty. Go do some Tracy Anderson workouts, you know, and only lift like one pound weight. I could use these for my weights. Like, whew, ooh, that's tough. Oh, that's really rough. Seriously. Okay, so I've already gone 10 minutes on this point, but you can tell I am not going to let stuff like this get in my way anymore. Recognize that you've let it stop you in the past. Recognize that you've, you've had things like this, whether it's whatever, measuring yourself, getting on the scale, um, putting on your jeans, thinking you were further ahead than you were, okay? And get over it. Recognize that your body is doing, your mind is doing what your body tends to do when you work out. I've talked about this before too. Your body, your mind tends to always want to go into the comfort zone, okay? So what my, what my mind wants to do right now when I see that is just give up. And what you're doing when you're, you know, kicking ass at the gym and you're on your last two reps and you're shaking and you can barely do it, your body wants to just say, I don't need to do anymore, this is too hard. When it's hard, that's when you need to stop thinking about giving up and that's when you need to push even harder because that's when you get the work done. And you get the work done when you don't freaking give up. I'm not freaking giving up and it was really hard for me. It was really hard for me today to not give up. It was really hard for me to write and tell Carla and be like, I'm really, but you know, Carla's the one who will always snap me in, into shape and go, Kelly, you're building muscle, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I know if somebody else came to me and said the same thing, I'd say, you cannot, you know, you can't do blah, blah, blah. And I'd say the same thing that I know. I know this deep inside. Sometimes you just need to hear it from someone else. So when you have, look at that hair, when you have, bad moments when you get frustrated use that to your advantage don't use it as you know if, if you're seeing something that upsets you why do something that's going to upset you even more why give up and, and further impede your progress if you see something that upsets you move it over to this side and say you know what I am using this and I'm going to envision again I don't care who it is you hate think about whoever it is that bugs the crap out of you and when you reach a wall when you think you can't push it anymore I want you to imagine that person sitting there going uh-huh go ahead give up I know you can't get two more reps out mm hmm because I don't know about you but when somebody tells me I can't do it that's when I work that much harder so I just look at this as like and again, I don't care if you think I'm crazy. These are like the little things that I use to propel me further. I'm assuming that like the devil is in there making my scale say what it's not gonna say, say what I don't want it to hear. So he's like, go ahead, I'm gonna make Kelly Alexa quit. Guess what? You've done it before, you are not doing it now, okay? That's all I have to say about that. And now, last little thing I have to tell you, because I know I told you about this before, but because it's right here on my counter. Remember I told you I found, <laughs> I found these in my closet after I moved these Someone, it must have been an agency or something, sent me these, and I don't know if you say it, Dasani or Dis Dasani, either way. They sent me these drops and they were sitting in a box and I was like, I have to go check what these are. I don't know what it is. Is it Soda Stream? What is it? Um, <laughs> um, where's the one I'm using? It's in there. So, see, there's 32 servings. I don't even know. I just squirt, whatever. You squirt these in your water. So I take a huge water bottle, put a squirt of this in. Now I know some of you guys are gonna go, there's so many chemicals in there, I'd never put that in mind. I really like the chemicals, okay, so get over it. Um, but somebody on Instagram last night was saying, so there's mixed berry, there's strawberry kiwi, and then there's pineapple coconut. I have yet to use the pineapple coconut, but somebody on Instagram said that they take the pineapple coconut and mix it in with their vanilla protein shake and it's like a pina colada. I'm all over that. Now, I have to get back to my good attitude day, so you guys have a kick-ass day. Don't give up. Whatever you've got that you hate, that pisses you off, that makes you want to give up, put a name on it. Put a name on it, put a face on it, and then kick that face's ass. Okay. Ah! Haven't done that in a while. Wow, my calves really hurt. Whew. Okay. I'll see you guys later.